In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's begin. Let's go over the formula that you need to know. So let's say we have a 3 by 3 matrix with the elements A1, A2, A3 in the first column. In the second column, we have B1, B2, B3. And in the third column, C1, C2, C3. So this is going to equal, let me write it here, the first element in the first row, that's uh, A1, and then if you take out everything in row 1 and in column 1, you'll be left with four elements, which will be used to form a 2 by 2 matrix. So that's B2, B3 and C2, C3. And then it's going to be minus the second element in the first row, that's B1. And then to find the four elements that will go in the next 2 by 2 matrix, eliminate the row and column that contains B1. And so you'll be left with A2, A3, C2, C3. And so we're going to write that in the second matrix. And then it's going to be plus. Now the third element in the first row, which is C1. And then C1 is in the first row, third column. And so it's going to have these four elements in the 2 by 2 matrix. So that's A2, A3, B2, B3. Now the next thing that you need to be able to do is you need to evaluate the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So let's focus on this one particularly. So B2, B3, C2, C3. First we're going to multiply the first diagonal starting from the upper left. That's going to be B2, C3, and then minus the second diagonal, which is C2 times B3, or B3 times C2. When you multiply, the order doesn't matter. 5 times 4 is the same as 4 times 5. And this will give you the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, which once you get this answer, you'll replace it with this matrix. So let's work out an example. Let's say if we want to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. If you want to try it, feel free to pause the video. And this is a 5, by the way, just for you who may think it's an S. My 5s sometimes look like S's. So go ahead and find the determinant for this matrix. So the first thing we're going to write is the first element in the first row, which is 5. Now, that number is in the first row, first column, and so it leaves behind these four numbers. So that's going to be negative 5, 4, 8, and 9. Next, let's write the element in the second element in the first row. And don't forget to alternate the signs. So this one was positive 5. The next one is going to be negative. And then we'll write this element, which is positive 3. Now, 3 is in the first row, second column. So it leaves behind the numbers 2, negative 6, 8, and 9. So let's write those numbers here. And then plus the last row in the first column, which is 7. And 7, it's in the first row, third column, leaving these numbers. So that's 2, negative 6, and then negative 5, 4. So at this point, you want to double check your work and make sure that you did everything correctly. Because if you make one mistake, 
that's it. The whole problem is it's basically doomed. You're going to get the answer wrong. So it's always good to make sure that uh, everything looks good. And I think I didn't miss anything. So now let's go ahead and finish it. So let's evaluate the determinant for the 2x2 two two matrix. So we're going to have negative 5 times 9, which is negative 45, and then minus 8 times 4, so that's 32. Next, we have negative 3, and then it's 2 times 9, which is 18, minus negative 6 times 8, which is negative 48. Now, if you see two negative signs here, you can turn it into a positive sign. And then it's going to be plus 7. And then we have 2 times 4, which is 8, minus negative 6 times negative 5, which is positive 30. So it becomes 8 minus 30. Now, negative 45 minus 32, that's going to be negative 77. And then 18 plus 14, well, 10 times, I mean, 10 plus 40 is 50. 8 plus 8 is 16. 50 plus 16 is 66. And then after that, we have 8 minus 30, which is negative 22. So this is going to be plus 7 times negative 22. Now, 5 times 77, that's 385, but this is going to be negative 385. 3 times 66, that's 198. And then 7 times 22 is 154. So now let's combine these three numbers. So negative 385 minus 198 minus 154. That is going to be negative 737. So this is the final answer for this problem. So as you can see, it really wasn't that bad. So for the sake of practice, let's try another example. So let's say we have a 3x3 three three matrix with the numbers 8, 4, 3, negative 5, 6, negative 2, 7, 9, negative 8. So take a minute, pause the video, and see if you can find the 3x3, three three, I mean the determinant of the 3x3 three three matrix. So let's begin by writing the first element in the first row, which is 8. And if we take out the first row, first column, we're going to have the numbers 6, 9, negative 2, negative 8. Now, minus the second element in the first row, which is 4. And if we take out the 4, which is in first row, second column, we're going to have the numbers negative 5, 7, negative 2, negative 8. And then plus the last element in the first row. So that's in the first row, third column. And it leaves behind the numbers negative 5, 7, 6, and 9. So now let's finish it. Let's evaluate the determinant of the 2x2 two two matrix. So we have 6 times negative 8, which is negative 48, and then minus 9 times negative 2, which is negative 18, and then minus 4. Here we have negative 5 times negative 8. That's positive 40, minus 7 times negative 2, which is negative 14. And then it's going to be plus 3. And then negative 5 times 9 is negative 45 minus 7 times 6, which is 42. So this is going to be negative 48 plus 18, which is negative 30. And then minus 4, 40 plus 14. That's 54, 
and then we have plus 3, negative 45 minus 42, that's negative 87. 8 times 3 is 24, so 8 times 30 is 240. And then 4 times 50 is 200, because 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 0. 4 times 4 is 16, so 200 plus 16, that's 216. And then 3 times 87. 3 times 80 is 240. 3 times 7 is 21. 240 and 21, that's 261. So now let's add the three negative numbers. Negative 240 minus 216 minus 261 adds up to negative 717. So this is the final answer. And that's basically it. So now you know how to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. So thanks again for watching. By the way, for those of you who liked this video, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And when you do, check out my channel because I do have playlists on pre-calculus, chemistry, physics, a Calc 1. So if you need help with any of those subjects, uh, take a look at my channel and you can find the videos that you need in the playlist.